we are going to take a look at how we can add a page to our school website. So we'll go back to Site Manager and you'll see the green New Page button. And if you scroll, you're going to see a number of different type page styles. And if you're unsure, you can just choose the basic page. And once you do, you need to go ahead and add the name of your page. And then save and continue. And there is a, it's already, it has a preset layout that you can change if you choose to, but this is the default for that particular uh, page style. So you see that there are three different types of apps, but I can add others. So I can go to Manage Apps and Layout because I'm looking for one in particular. I'm going to add an app. And the app I'm looking for is the Google Folder app. If you have, uh, if you're using Google Drive, which most of us are, you can go ahead and add a file. So go ahead and create and call this whatever you want this to be named. So I'm just going to type shared resources because that's the uh, name of my file or folder. So go ahead and create. These other three apps I don't want, so I'm going to hit the X. Let it know that I'm going to change this a little bit. And I can also change the layout. By changing the layout, I can have a one column. Otherwise, my folder is going to be small on one side of the page. And once I do that, I hit I'm done, and it's ready for me to edit. So you're going to add a link, and you're going to choose your view type. So in order to add your link, you need to go find the shareable link that others can access. So go to your Google Drive. and go to that folder if you know the name of it and once you find that folder and here's mine here instead of going here under the menu button go to the top and you're going to see a link click and just get that link that's provided so I'm going to go ahead and control C or copy I'm going to go back to my site manager, I'm going to drop it in. I'm going to choose whether I want a grid view or a list view. A list will list all of the documents. A grid will show you what all of those documents are. So it's just really a, a personal preference. Hit save. And now I can go and view my website. So I'll go over here to the resources tab. And that is what it will look like with my shared resources folder from my Google Drive. So there are a number of things that you can add to your website to provide resources for others.